وقال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن الحكيم والفرقان المجيد إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد as time is very short and as usually mashallah in the month of Ramadan time flies because there's so much barakah so not going to be long First of all, I'd like to give Ramadan and Mubarak to all of the those of Bristol, mashallah. We're so khushkismat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us another chance to worship in this month, to sown, to fast in this month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that it is the month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. And in this month, mashallah, we listen to the Qur'an, we recite the Qur'an, we read the Qur'an and in Tarawi, mashallah, we're listening to the Qur'an behind the Hufaz and this is a khush kismati for us because this was a sunnah of Hadrat Sayyidina Muhammad Mustafa sallam, that in the month of Ramadan, Hadrat Sayyidina Jibreel al-Islam used to visit the Messenger of Allah sallam, every day and they used to recite the Holy Quran and Rasulullah used to listen to the Quran while Jibreel Islam was reciting and then Rasulullah used to recite the Quran and Jibreel Islam was reciting. So it is a sunnah to recite and a sunnah to listen to the Holy Quran. Kitani khush kismati and Sayyidina Rasulullah said that the month of Ramadan, in this month, the nights are the best of nights. The days are the best of days. And the hours are the best of hours. So subhanAllah, right now, in this masjid, sitting in this masjid, in this blessed month, at this hour, remembering Mawlai Kainat, Hadrat Sayyidina Shere Khuda Al Murtaza, this is the best time of all. There's no other time better than this hour right now. According to the Sunnah of Rasulullah. And today we're remembering, subhanAllah, Amir al Mu'mineen, Imam al Muttaqeen, Imam al Awliya, Hadre Kara, Mushkal Pusha. <coughs> There's many other titles which are coming to me. Sayyid al Sadat, Al Murtaza, Shere Khuda, Damad al Rasul, Zojai Patu, Abu Turab, Hadrat Sayyidana Ali ibn Abi Talib, Rabbiyallah Ta'ala Anhu, Wa Karam Allah wa Jahul Kareem. So this is the day. Well, it was from this day that Hadrat Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu was hit, got striped with a poisonous sword on the 19th of Ramadan. And Hadrat Sayyidina Ali attained shahadat on the 21st of Ramadan. So these days are very blessed days, but these days we should remember Hadrat Sayyidina Ali even more. And there's a few things because time is very short. Sadi khushi bhi in this mafil there's been the dhikr of the Ahl al-Bayt. This is our khush kismati. This is our form of kafara for our sins. And it is an attainment of Jannah. When we remember the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. According to, there's a narration which he just read the other day, Hadrat Imam Jalaluddin Sayyuti records this in his Jamil Sagheed 
اب سجدہ سیدنا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے کہ ادبو اولادکم حب نبیکم و حب اہل بیتی و تلاوت القرآن So the hadith is Rasulullah said Adabu awladukum That teach your children adab in three things Hubba nabiyyukum The love of your prophet Wa hubba ahla bayti The love of his family The ahla bayt Wa talawit al-Quran The recitation of the Holy Quran If we teach our children These three things Wallah ba khuda They would grow up to be Believers and Muslims according to Islam. Wow. So increase the muhabbat of the Ahl al-Bayt in their hearts. And let's share and let's increase the zikr of the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa This is very important for us. Hadrat Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal rahmatullah alayhi has said that there is no other companion who has had so many virtues and qualities written about him than Hadra Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Jal So many qualities, so many virtues written on Hadra Sayyidina Ali. Then why is it? Why is it the people do not share these qualities? Why is it the people are not talking about these qualities? Talking about these virtues? Why is it the ulama are not sharing these qualities and these virtues on Hadra Sayyidina Ali? Forget about them. We will increase the zikr of Hadra Sayyidina Ali. We will increase the zikr of the Ahl al Bayt. Until we have breath in our body, we will continue the zikr of the Ahl al Bayt. And then Shah Sab mentioned the narration from Hadra Sayyidina Ibn Abbas, Abdullah Ibn Abbas, Radiyatul Anhuma. But also Hadrat Jalaluddin Sayyuti also wrote this in their books. And they said that there are no less than 300 verses of the Holy Quran in which Allah praises Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. No less than 300 verses of the Holy Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the shan of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing the zikr of Hadr Sayyidina Ali in the Holy Quran, then don't you think we should do his zikr as well? Rasulullah said that looking at Ali is ibadah. Just doing the ziyarah, looking at the face of Ali is ziyarah. Doing the zikr of Ali is the ibadah of Allah SWT. This is our iman. And we will go away with this iman according to the hadith of Safin. Rasulullah said, that my family is like the ark of Noah. My family is like the ark of Noah. Whoever boards upon this will be saved. And whoever remains behind, he will, he will perish, he will be destroyed. This is the muhabbat of the Ahl al-Bayt. Whoever is boarded, meaning whoever absorbs and takes the muhabbat of the Ahl al-Bayt in his heart, he will be saved in this dunya and in the akhirah. And whoever has any bughas, whoever does not have the love of the family of Rasulullah sallallahu in his heart, or he will perish, he will be destroyed. According to the another narration, hadith, famous hadith, that a sign of Iman is the love of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. A sign of Iman is the love of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. And bughas, <coughs> Any jealousy or hatred for Ali is a sign of nifaq, a sign of a manaf. But we are not those people. You know why? Because we are gathered here because all of us love Hadra Sayyidina Ali. We come here today to remember Hadra Sayyidina Ali. This is the reason why we are remembering Hadra Sayyidina Ali Karim today. I'm going to mention one narration and then I'm going to give over to Kali Sah, mashallah, to finish off. A beautiful narration which I read a few days ago. This was in the time of the Caliphate of Hadra Sayyidina Ali. Hadra Sayyidina Ali ta'ala anhu, lost his shield in a battle. And a Jew found that shield. Some days later, some time later, Hadra Sayyidina Ali, he saw that Jew with his shield. 
So he approached the Jew and he said, that, that's my shield, what you have. The Jew said, you're a liar. This is my shield. Hadrat Sayyidina Ali said, what are you talking about? I lost my shield in a battle. This is my shield. I recognize my shield. This is my shield. He said, you are a liar. For this is my shield. I've had this shield for ages. So they had a dispute. This dispute, they summoned a Qadi. Qadi Shurey. Let me tell you who Qadi, Qadi Shurey was. Qadi Shurey was a Ta'bi'i. He was a successor to the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Qadi Shurey was one of the students of Hadrat Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood. He was one of the leading companions of Hadrat Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood and he was a student of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali as well. It was, it was Hadrat Sayyidina Ali that appointed him as a Qadi for Kufa. So from this, they summoned Qazi Shurey. Qazi Shurey, he asked Hadrat Sayyidina Ali, O oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, remember, he's the student of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. He's a student of Abdullah ibn Masood. And he asked, O oh, Ali, Amir al-Mu'mineen, do you, is this your shield? Hadrat Sayyidina Ali says, yes. He asked the Jew. The Jew said, this is my shield. Qazi Shurey says to Ali, and to say that Ali, do you have any proof that this is your shield? Hadrat Sayyidina Ali said, yes, I have my two sons. Qadi Shuray says, oh Amir al-Mu'mineen, you know better than me. You know better than me that we cannot allow the testimony of any family members or any relatives in the court of justice. Oh Ali, you know better than me. According to the Islamic law, we cannot allow any testimony of any relatives or any family members in the court of law. And the case was given to the Jew. The case was given to the Jew. The Jew walked away with the shield. Just a short time later, the Jew turned round and he came back in front of all of the people. And he said, he said to Hadrat Sayyidina Ali, O leader of the Muslims, I cannot believe what has happened today. This is the Jew. I cannot believe what's happened today. If this, if this is Islam, and if this is the character of your Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, which I have seen in you, then today I accept Islam. I accept Islam. If this is the character of your Nabi, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which I have seen in you, Ali, then I accept, I accept Islam. He accepted Islam on the hand of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. And then he said, Ali, you spoke the truth, for I was a liar. This is your shield, and I want to return the shield back to you. Hadrat Sayyidina Ali said, Oh my friend, oh believer, you can keep this shield. This is a gift from me to you because you accepted Islam. This was the character, the husna khulaq, the good character and the justice and the personality of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. How beautiful is this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we may even take one speck of that character and apply that into our lives today. They summoned Qazi Shurey. Qazi Shurey, he asked Hadrat Sayyidina Ali, O oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, remember, he's the student of Hadrat Sayyidina Ali. He's a student of Abdullah ibn Masood. And he asked, O oh, Ali, Amir al-Mu'mineen, do you... Is this your shield? Hadrat Sayyidina Ali says, yes. He asked the Jew. The Jew said, this is my shield. Qazi Shurey says to Ali, Hadrat Sayyidina Ali, do you have any proof that this is your shield? Hadrat Sayyidina Ali said, yes, I have my two sons. Qazi Shurey says, oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, 
You know better than me. You know better than me that we cannot allow the testimony of any family members or any relatives in the court of justice. Oh Ali, you know better than me. According to the Islamic law, we cannot allow any testimony of any relatives or any family members in the court of law. And the case was given to the Jew. The case was given to the Jew. The Jew walked away with the shield. Just a short time later, the Jew turned round and he came back in front of all of the people. And he said, he said to Hadrat Sayyidina Ali, O leader of the Muslims, I cannot believe what has happened today. This is the Jew. I cannot believe what's happened today. If this, if this is Islam, and if this Allah is the character Allah. of your Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which I have seen in you then today I accept Islam Subhanallah. 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 I accept Islam if this is the character of your Nabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which I have seen in you Ali then I accept, I accept Islam He accepted Islam on the hand of Hazrat Sayyidina Ali and then he said Ali you spoke the truth, for I was a liar. This is your shield, and I want to return the shield back to you. Oh, no. Hazrat Sayyidina Ali said, Oh my friend, oh believer, you can keep this shield. This is a gift from me to you, because you accepted Islam. This was the character, the husna khulaq, the good character and the justice and the personality of Hadra Sayyidina Ali Karim How beautiful is this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we may even take one speck of that character and apply that into our lives today. Wa akhira dawana in